Um, you know, it, it started in camp and, uh, and even before that when, uh, you know, Bobby was in uh, a little early with me as well. And then when Zadina came over and um, I think just the, the dynamic of the line with uh, some size, some skill and speed and everything, uh, it all just kind of brings it together. And, um, you know, last name was a good example of that. How big of a lift would it be for the team, you think, if you guys can be develop into, you know, an offensive consistent force? I mean, just give gives you guys a couple of lines to really, you know, produce offense like that. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, with any team, uh, you know, when you're having that scoring depth is when you're going to be winning games. And, um, you know, we, we got a great top line and they, they've showed that for many years. And um, now it's... Uh, the other three lines job now to, to support them and, um, and help when, when they're not having a game or, or just support them when they are. And, um, you know, last night, you know, from top to bottom uh, on, on the back end as well and, and Burns and that another great goalie performance. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take a team for all year and, and in every game. But adjusting the center, is that going, I mean, it seems like we've been talking with you guys, with you about that the last few weeks, but is everything coming along that way? Yeah, um, you know, more and more comfortable. Uh, you know, it's been, uh, you know, a long time for, for all of us to, to get back on the ice here. And, you know, you kind of saw that adjustment from game one to game two. And um, I think it's only going to be better. You know, I think we're going in the right direction with, with everyone. And, um, you know, with myself uh, feeling more and more comfortable there at center. The last one, just playing at noon tomorrow. I mean, it's weird enough playing at noon, but when you follow up with it being a Monday and stuff like that, I mean, I don't know, just a strange, strange one for the body clock or what? How do you get ready for that? Uh, yes, it's definitely different. Uh, you know, that takes you back to the junior days when you'd play, uh, play in the afternoons. But um, I think like, uh, like any other game, you, you get up and, um, you're obviously adjusting to the time, but you, you go through the same routine and, and whatnot just a little earlier in the day. Thanks, Robbie. Next up, Max Boltman from The Athletic. Hey, Robbie, I know everyone's kind of talked through camp about wanting to get off to a good start and how important that'll be in a short year, but just confidence-wise, what does it do to, to come in and split a series with a, a good team like Carolina right off the bat? It's huge. Um, you know, we're already feeling it. This, this year is going to go by quick. Um, you're playing a lot of games, and um, you know, the good thing about that is, you know, you play a team and, and you get them the next night or, or two nights later. So, um, you know, it, it was a good bounce back for us and, you know, a huge, uh, like you said, split with, with a very good team in our division. And, um, you know, we're going to go into the next series with the same mentality and uh, try and carry over that uh, second game into tomorrow. I know it might be a little early for this, but... What kind of identity do you guys think you want to have as a team this year? Is that something you talk about or, or just something that kind of emerges naturally? Um, yeah, you know, we, we're going to be a competitive team all year, every game. Um, you know, it starts with, you know, coming to the rink on practice days and, and the work ethic everyone has and um, the mindset that everyone has is, is together. And, um, you know, working for each other and competing for each other and, um, that's the biggest thing when, when you're doing that. And when, when you got, you know, all 23 guys doing that, um, you know, it makes the game a little easier for everyone. And then just uh, one follow up on, on Ted's question about center face off wise. I know that's something you've done early in your career. Is it kind of like riding a bike? It just took kind of a game to, to, to really feel the rhythm of that again and against live competition. Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, you got some face offs in camp and, and whatnot, but uh, you know, nothing you can do can emulate a game and um, you know, I was a lot more comfortable in the second game, and, and the numbers showed that. Thank you. Next up, Helene St. James from the Detroit Free Press. So, Robbie, I just, you know, last season, um, when something like what happened last night, team scores, opening minute of a period, you guys did not have a good record of, of rallying from something like that. What did you sense was different last night? What was Larkin comes out and scores within 20 seconds. You get the game-winning goal shortly after they had tied it up. Like, what, what was, what's different now? Um, yeah, you know, that was, you know, definitely a learning point last season. You know, that happened a little too many times. And, um, you know, not sitting back, uh, not getting down, and just continuing to play. You know, we were, we were playing great all game. Uh, you know, we were in the game the whole time. And um, you can't let, you know, one, one little play 
you know, deflate the bench or deflate the way you play. And, you know, we did a great job as a full unit to, just to keep pushing and, and to stay on our toes. Some of the guys said after Thursday's game, like there were jitters and whatnot from having been off for so long. Did you notice, was there a noticeable sense or difference on the, on the bench that the last night that everybody had settled down and, you know, was kind of back into some kind of a rhythm or just familiar feeling? Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, being off that long, you know, a lot of us felt like uh, it was the first game, uh, you know, of our careers. And, you know, we're all so excited to, to get back to playing and, and whatnot. And, you know, nerves are, are part of the game and are going to happen in situations like that. But, um, you know, we did a great job to, to channel that and, um, you know, come out, come out strong again and, and, and keep that going for 60 minutes. And lastly, just a few years ago, the Wings played an 11.30 a.m. game in Chicago. And I remember guys like uh, Henrik Sederberg, Nicholas Cronwell said they got up, uh, had salmon, pasta, rice, whatever, went back to bed. And, you know, like, just playing this early game, how do you, how do you rearrange your meals? Uh, you know, when basically you're, almost, you know, at, at the time you would normally probably be coming home, you're coming in to, to play a game. Yeah, yeah, I don't think uh, too many guys are going to be doing the, the pasta pregame at uh, 8 in the morning. So um, you got to change, uh, kind of change what you're eating. But I think for me, it, uh, you know, I just treat it like a regular game. I'll, I'll get, get everything ready and get to the rink at the same time and, and go through my routine and, um, you know, not, not think about it too much. And, um, you know, just be, just be ready for puck drop. What will you have for breakfast? I uh, haven't decided yet. I'll, I'll see what I'm feeling later today. Right, thank you. Last question from Mark Wagner with DetroitRedWings.com. Hi, Robbie. I, I kind of want to follow up on what Max said. Obviously, you played center most of your life. You know how to take face-offs. What is the key to winning a draw, especially at the NHL level? Um, you know, it, it's a lot different than uh, than junior. Um, you know, when, when you're just as strong as everyone, it's uh, – it's more of t tactics and, um, you know, different guys have different tendencies and, you know, kind of just learning, learning the way face-offs go and what, what, what certain guys do when you're going out there. So, you know, watch some video before the game yesterday on, on the Carolina centerman. And I'll continue to do that before, before each game, uh, you know, until I get familiar with, you know, the centerman in our, in our division for, for the season. I know you touched upon this, but you're, line has basically been together since the beginning of the camp you said when Bobby got here I guess in early November you guys sort of meshed I think you went golfing together what is it about your the three of you you Zadina and and Bobby your skill set that makes you such an effective line you I mean you just gelled very very quickly yeah I think uh I think we just feed well off each other uh you know from off the ice to, to on the ice and and that's huge, you know, when uh, when you connect off the ice, you know, things become easier on the ice. And as, as you start to learn, um, you know, where each other is going to be on the ice and, you know, uh, each other's tendencies. And, um, you know, that's when you build that chemistry and um, you play a little quicker when you know where someone's going to be and you know what play you're going to make with the puck before you get it. So um, I think, you know, like I said earlier, it's just a good mixture of, uh, you know, size, speed, skill and um, we all work and. And, and that's what, what makes it easy. Finally, uh, I know you haven't played with Zadina much because he was hurt last year, but uh, he's known for his shot. But uh, can you talk maybe about his all-around skill level, especially uh, his passing ability? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, I said it during camp. He's playing with a lot of confidence, um, and that's huge for, for a player like him, and, and that's huge for, for me and Bobby. Um, you know, he creates a lot. Uh, with his speed and and he showed last night that he, that he's able to to set up goals uh, just as easy as he can score them. So um, you know he, he's playing hard. He's wanting to do the right things. He's he's coming in and and looking at his game and looking at plays and and trying to get better and uh, and that's all you can ask for. And you know it's translating uh, to his uh, on ice performance. Thank you, Robbie. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone.